Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to fix uh, P0420 and P0430, which is uh, catalytic converter efficiency low. And this is real common after head gasket replacement. Um, even after it gets some age on the cat, it'll read a little bit low, it'll throw the sensor. A lot of you guys live in cities, you got to pass you know, inspection. So this will get you going again for, I think there's a five or six dollars. So we're going to use these spark plug non-fowlers and these are 18 millimeter. You could buy them with or without gasket. It doesn't really make that much difference. These are with the gasket and it depends on what kind of car you got, you're going to use one of them. And you always want to put it on the rear sensor. You never want to put it on the front sensor. You could put it on the front sensor. It just won't make any difference. Okay, so this is a Honda CRV and we're at the rear sensor which is right there. And all the oxygen sensors are seven eighths, pretty much no matter what you're working on. So I have a spark plug socket, but that tends to not to reach places very well. So we're gonna use today, we're gonna use a hammer and we're gonna use a seven eighths wrench. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug the O2 sensor and we're gonna put the, ratchet, the wrench on it and we're gonna tap it with a hammer in reverse and break it loose. Okay, so here's the spacer installed, and you just use two wrenches and snug it up, not crazy tight in case you have to ever get it back off. I uh, apologize for the picture and the voiceover. The neighbor was plowing his field with his tractor. I lost some record time, so I just took a picture and did a voiceover. So here's where we're at. Uh, we just reinstalled it, and you can see the spacer is on it right there. Now, something you need to remember is all the non-German cars, you're going to have to drill the center of that out. Uh, the center of the spacer out. All the German cars, you do not. And if you don't want to unhook the wire, it's hard to get to, you could just swivel the O2 sensor, count the turns when you take it off, not unplug it, before you reinstall it, you know, wind it in reverse so you don't twist the wire and then screw it back in so the wire ends up, you know, roughly not twisted. You don't have to unplug it. It makes the job a heck of a lot easier. So here's what you gotta do. <clears throat> we took a pretty good size drill bit and depends on which sensor you have you need different size you can see there's a little hole on one end and there's a big hole in the other end where it screws in well down there where it's funneled down let's see if I get here to focus for you there you go uh, you have you know roughly I don't know probably another three-eighths of an inch or more and I just had to drill it all the way through to where this little hole was big all the way through and that's all we did here guys if you have a good sharp drill bit, this is super easy. Uh, if you don't have a sharp drill bit, it's pretty difficult. Uh, these are not aluminum. These are actually uh, like a softer metal. And that'll last for a very long time by doing this, guys. Like I said, all the German cars, you do not have to drill it out. You can simply just screw the O2 sensor in there and uh, screw it back in the pipe.